Coming up tonight after the postgame show, it's on to Sports Night. We'll recap this game, get you ready for the home run derby on Monday. WNBA action as well. Honda Sports Night tonight and every night right here on SNY. Cattell Marte, who pinch hit, stays in the game at second base. Geraldo Perdomo moves over to shortstop. And the left hander, Andrew Chafin, is going to be brought on for the save opportunity. The left hander coming in to face Marte. Interesting. Especially when you consider that in the fourth inning tonight, Tori Lavello had the left hander, Tommy Henry, walk Marte intentionally. Now they're going to bring in a lefty closer in a 1 0 game. Nope. He's got eight saves, only two blown saves. He's given up only two home runs this year over 36 appearances. Marte is one for two in a walk today after hitting a three run homer last night. 1 0 game, ninth inning. And first pitch sinker is fouled off. The leg of Kelly, and yeah, he goes limping around. They're mostly sinkers and sliders from Andrew Chafin. Could I sing if the Mets don't rally? We'll have the rare complete game loss. Eight innings, one run, four hits, one walk, 12 strikeouts. What an amazing effort. His best in the big league so far. 0 1 1 to Marte. And that's sinker low and away. 1 and 1. Just missed. Jeff Looks Mc like, uh, I'm sorry, Gary. He pitches from the third base side of the rubber and steps towards the first base lines across the crossfire. Mm -hmm. On the ground to his right, Marte on the backhand. And he throws out Marte. Marte throws out Marte. One out. Now McNeil. Jeff 0 for 3 tonight. That's have managed only three hits. An infield hit by Marte in the second. Single to center by Pham in the fourth. An infield hit by Alvarez in the seventh. And McNeil swings at the first pitch and flies it out to left. Back goes Carroll. He'll have room. Two out. So just like that Andrew Chafin has retired the first two and that'll bring up yesterday's hero Francisco Alvarez looking for some more heroics with two out and nobody on in the ninth. Mets have been shut out eight times this year. The Diamondbacks have seven have six shutout victories. Alvarez trying to change things up at an infield single in the seventh he's one for three. And Francisco takes the fastball outside for ball one. Looking for something he can drive and Chafin keeping the ball away from him. Brett Beatty would be next. And Alvarez swings Ooh. and misses at the slider. Good slider. Aha. Uh -huh. So the Diamondbacks at the back end of their bullpen are got some guys that got good stuff. Alvarez watches the sinker away and it's two and one. Tommy Henry went the first six. Cal Nelson got two outs in the seventh. Scott McGuff got four outs and now Chafin trying to close it. Two and one to Alvarez. And Francisco takes a knee high strike. Tough pitch two and two. And thus the Mets are down to their final strike. Scherzer, David Peterson barking at the home plate umpire Lance Barksdale, but that appeared to be a good call. Two two. And that's low. And now full count to Alvarez. Looking to make something happen with two out of the ninth. A wonderfully pitched game on both sides. Three two coming from Chafin to Alvarez. And he 
just got a piece of it to stay in the at bat. That slider was up in the strike zone here. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming from Chafin to Alvarez. And he flies one deep right field. McCarthy back near the wall. It's out of here. Francisco Alvarez ties the game. Two out, two strikes. Home run in the top of the ninth. <laughs> Alvarez strikes again. And the Mets come back off the mat to tie it in the ninth. Number 15 for Francisco Alvarez. He homered on the 4th of July to give the Mets the lead. And on the 5th, he delivers the tying blow with two out in the ninth. He has done that before. Gotten clutch home runs. His second clutch home run in this series. Only the third home run Andrew Chafin's allowed this year. And Brett Beatty swings over that slider. Went away with the fastball. Alvarez went right with it. That was not a bad pitch. Beatty rolls over one toward the hole. That goes through for a base hit. Beatty with two strikes got enough of that slider to pull it through the hole. And now the Mets have the lead one on first with two down. And Mark Canna coming up. What a turn of a of events in the ninth inning. Chafin retired the first two with ease. He got ahead on Alvarez, who was able to work the count to three and two, and then deliver the opposite field home run to tie the game. Well, and I'll say about Alvarez is at bat. He fell behind, and he took some sliders that were close, and he didn't try to overswing and pull, and he's got the power to take it out to the opposite field. What an at bat. So now Canna, who was left in against the right hander in the seventh, remember, and struck out against Scott McGuff, now is in there against the left hander here in the ninth. And he drives one to center field. That's deep. That goes Thomas back to the warning truck. It's over his head. Racing for third, Beatty. He'll turn and score. Canna heads for third. He's got an RBI triple. And the Mets have the lead in the top of the ninth. Oh, wow! Mark Canna delivers a run scoring triple, and it's two to one New York. Well, they were asleep for eight innings, and they have struck. Eight and two thirds. Wow. Alvarez homers to tie it. Beatty follows with a two strike base hit. And then Canna unloads his first triple of the year to drive in Beatty and put the Mets in front. And David Robertson is getting ready in the bullpen to try and close this game out. And is Senga on the long side? He is indeed. Oh, eight, wow. Eight brilliant innings by Senga. And he finally gets the payoff with two out in the top of the ninth. Two outs, Beatty's on his horse. Get to the deepest part of the park. Standing up. Wow, what a nice comeback. Now Nimmo looking to get an insurance run home. Brandon's got 0 for 4 tonight. And he takes the first slider down for Chafe in ball one. Two out, nobody on. Two strikes on Alvarez and the Mets with a tremendous ninth inning comeback. And Nimmo takes inside and it's 2 and 0. Oh. Brandon's driven in 41 runs out of the leadoff spot. And he takes that one at the knees to it 2 and 1.
There's Robertson who worked last night. Had a rough goal but managed to get the save. And that's at the knees of fastball for a strike two and two. Robertson faced three batters last night. Only threw nine pitches. And got his 12th save. He'll go for 13 tonight. And Nimmo lays off the slider in the dirt. Good stop by Kelly to keep Canada third. And Lindor talking to Alvarez about keeping his head in the game for the bottom of the ninth. And he'll have more work to do. I wish I was a lip reader. Tommy Pham would be next. Three and two to Nimmo. And Brandon bounces one up the first baseline foul. And Wayne Kirby there to make the play. Wow, what a game, Keith. A fantastic game. Well pitched. This is my kind of ball game. And particularly when the uh, orange and blue have a nice little comeback like this. A lot of, of the teams in front of them have won in the wild card. I know it's a long way to go, but you got to pay attention to the wild card right now. Keep pace. 3 2 to Nemo, and he slices one foul. Well, Kodai Senga has never been better in the big leagues. Eight innings. He allowed just the Christian Walker home run in the seventh matched his career high with 12 strikeouts and now he's pitcher of record on the long side. It'd be a seventh win. He's got three outs to get. Now the run would certainly look big here if Nimmo can get Canna home from third. Eighth pitch of the at bat and he fouls off another one. Kevin Ginkle is now up in the Arizona bullpen with Chafin. Now struggling just to get through this ninth inning. He's already thrown 23 pitches. He got the first two hitters out on just four pitches, but it's all caved in on him since. Alvarez with the tying home run, Beatty with a base hit, and then Canna with the go-ahead hit. Canna runs halfway down the line, and Chafin has to chase him back. He almost balked as he stepped off the mound, but with the third baseman, Longoria playing so far off the line, Canna came halfway to home yep. plate. Before he was chased back. Canna's very heady player. Trying to draw the ball. Good. That is a smart play. I thought for a moment he was going to try a kinder falefa. <laughs> try and steal home. He was trying to draw the ball. This will be the ninth pitch on the way to Nemo. And he walked him. And Tommy Pham will come up with runners on the corners. And I believe they'll bring in the right hander to face him. Well, Lavello biding his time. He's got Ginkle up in the bullpen. Is Ginkle ready? That's. I think that's the question. So Nimmo's oh. on base for the first time tonight. Four straight Mets have reached base after two out and nobody on. Are they going to lead the lefty into face Fam? Uh, Apparently they are. Twenty-fifth pitch. Oh, they're going to look like they're uh, stalling. Kelly, Kelly's walking slowly out. Yeah, I, they're I, stalling. Yeah, it, that makes total sense that they would give Ginkle time to be ready for Fam. Fams hit three bullets tonight. Two line outs and a single to center. He was walked in his last plate appearance in the eighth. And this is just time killing. And here comes Torrey. And they'll make the pitching change. Mets with a midnight rally. Two in the ninth and looking for more. We'll be right back to Arizona. Kevin Ginkle in his fifth year with the Diamondbacks and having his best season. Wow, another uh, sparkling, sparkling uh, ERA out of the bullpen here. He comes into what has been a mess of a ninth inning for the Diamondbacks. A great comeback for the Mets. They've got two runs in, first and third, two out, and Tommy Pham, who is one for three in a walk today, Canna at third, Nimmo at first. And Pham goes after the first pitch fastball and fouls it off the mask of Kelly in back. Nothing in one. Pham has two career at bats against Ginkle, one for two. Well, and, and now we're where some Met fans might have gone to sleep. Down one nothing, two out, top of the ninth. Yeah, but they, they got the DVR. They'll watch it in the morning. Either that or they got jolted awake. <laughs> and now they're watching. 12.07 a.m. in the big city. 0 1 to Pham. And Tommy lays off the slider from Ginkle. 1 and 1. 
It's a big run out there on third base. I know I'm seeing the obvious. That'd be a nice run to bring in right here. Buck likes to call it Captain Obvious. <laughs> it's a slider off the plane that's two and one. Could you be Captain Obvious? No, oh, I'm not supposed to be. Sometimes we have to be. Yeah. A big part of our job is to state the obvious. Add on runs. Bam fouls away that fastball from Ginkle on its two and two. Tommy just continues to swing an excellent bat. This has been going on for the better part of two months now. Andrew Chafin can only lament what has come to pass here in the ninth. And Pham fouls off that fastball, and it's still two and two. He did not make a bad pitch to Alvarez. That was knee high outside corner, and Alvarez went with the pitch. Alvarez gets a oh, tends to overswing, but that at bat when he got two strikes, he did the tighten up. Two two. Nemo runs. It's hit slowly to the right side. Marte has to charge. He makes the flip in time to get Pham. That saved a run. Marte had to come a long way to make that play. That ends the inning, but the Mets take the lead. Alvarez with a big celebration after the tying home run. Canna with the RBI triple. Two to one New York with Robertson coming on from the bottom of the ninth.